Welcome grade 8 students. Our topic for this lesson is lesson 8, simplifying rational algebraic expression. Before that, our objectives for this lesson, you should master the laws of exponents and the factor of polynomials. Number 2, you can now simplify rational algebraic expression. Again, what is the meaning of simplify? So it is to reduce an equation or fraction, etc., to a simpler form by cancellation of common factors, regrouping of terms in the same variable, etc. Simplify, ibig sabihin, baka malaki pa yung number mo at pwede mo pa siya i-reduce sa lowest term. May mga greatest common factor pa sila, then do it. I-reduce mo siya sa lowest term para hindi masyado malaki yung uh, number. Let us try to simplify our uh, fraction here. We have 3 over 9. Now, um, if you will just observe, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Ang magagawa lang natin dito ay mag-simplify. Pero kung ang ating numerator ay mas malaki sa denominator, baka ma-divide natin. But here, again, we can only simplify or reduce it to lowest term. So how again? First, you need to um, tell what is the GCF of 3 and 9. Ano ang GCF ng 3 and 9? So, ang GCF ng 3 and 9 ay 3. So, let us divide both numerator and denominator by 3. What will be the answer? 3 divided by 3, ang answer ay 1. 9 divided by 3, ang answer ay 3. So, the simplified form of 3 over 9 is 1 thirds. Again, they are just the same in value but the left side has the bigger number and the right side has the lower number. But then again, both of them has equal value. Next, let us simplify two-fourths. So again, think of the GCF of two and four. So ano ang GCF? The answer is two. Let us divide numerator and denominator by two. Two divided by two, the answer is one. 4 divided by 2, the answer is 2. So, your simplified form of 2 fourths is 1 half. Next, let us simplify 25 over 5. So, what did you notice? So, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So, maybe we can divide them. So, 25 divided by 5, the answer is 5. But if you forgot, for, for example, you just simplify them. Oh, again, get the GCF of 25 and 5, the answer is 5. So, if you're going to divide both sides by 5, your answer will be 5 over 1. So, any number divided by 1 is still the number. So, 5 divided by 1, ang sagot pa rin dyan ay 5. So, you don't have to write the denominator 1. Okay? Because all whole numbers has an invisible denominator 1. Ang isulat mo na lang ay 5. So, the answer is 5. Next, simplify 4 over 16. Again, the GCF is 4. So, if you're going to divide both parts by 4, the answer will be 1 fourth. Now, let us have our recall about factoring polynomials. If you, will, uh, if you didn't remember how to factor, the polynomials using CMF, DTS, SDTC, PST, GTA great, uh, equals 1 and A greater than 1. Um, I have my recorded discussions here in my YouTube channel. You can check it so that you will um, recall or master how to factor polynomials. So again, um, common monomial factor, you can use this for two or more terms. Difference of two squares, you can use this for binomial only. SDTC for binomial. PST for trinomial. And GT is for trinomial also. Now, let us have our law of exponents. You already know how to simplify fraction number. Now, how about in variables? Now, if we're going to deal with product, you're going to multiply the variables. Common variable, let us assume that the, it is variable A. Now, all you have to do is to add those exponents. Again, if you will, mul uh, if you will be multiplying 
the variable, common variable, all you have to do is to copy the variable and then add its exponents. Halimbawa, a raised to the second power times a raised to the second power. So, dahil pareho silang 2, 2 plus 2, your answer will be 4. a raised to the fourth power. Next, how about dividing variables? Again, common variable lang ang madidivide mo. Then, subtract mo lang ang ating exponent. So, for example, a raised to the fourth power is divided by a raised to the second power. 4 minus 2, 2 ang sagot. So, a squared ang sagot mo. How about if the exponent is raised to another power? For example, a squared raised to the second power. All you have to do is to multiply the two powers. 2 times 2, the answer will be 4. Your final answer is a raised to the fourth power. Next, zero exponent. All variables, all numbers that is raised to zero is equal to 1. For example, 1 million raised to the zero power, the answer is 1. X raised to the zero power, the answer also is 1. Next, how about if there is a negative exponent? For example, a variable a raised to the negative 2. Now, you know that all whole numbers has a denominator or invisible denominator 1. Now, get the reciprocal. So, yung 1 mo magiging numerator at yung inyong um, numerator ang magiging denominator. And then, change the sign of the exponent. So, from negative 2, halimbawa, magiging positive 2 na yan. Tanggal ang negativity ng exponent. Let us simplify 9ac squared over 18c. First question. What type of polynomial is our numerator? Ang sagot ay monomial. How about the denominator? Ang sagot ay monomial din. Kapag monomial, hindi mo na kailangan i-factor using common monomial factor, difference of 2 squares, sum and difference of 2 cubes, perfect square trinomial, and general trinomial. Dahil ito ay pwede lang i-factor for 2 or more terms. Kapag monomial, diretso ka sa pag-simplify or reduce to lowest term. Ngayon, start muna tayo kay um, numerical coefficient 9 and 18. Kapag sinimplify si 9a over 18, ano ang magiging sagot? So, divide natin sila sa GCF. Ang GCF nilang dalawa ay 9. So, 9 divided by 9 ay 1. 18 divided by 2 ay 2. Next, mag-divide naman tayo sa variable. As you can see, letter A natin dito ay numerator lang. Wala tayong variable na A sa denominator. So, copy mo lang ang A sa numerator. Next, we can divide C here because both of numerator and denominator has variable C. Paano ulit mag-divide? Ang pag-divide, i-subtract mo lang ang exponents nila. So, subtract natin exponent na 2 by 1. 1 to, invisible ang 1. 2 minus 1, ang sagot na lang ay 1 as exponent. So, ang magiging final answer mo dun ay C. So, ngayon, saan ko ilalagay ang C? Sa numerator ba or denominator? So, ganito ang technique. Kung anong mas malaki exponent, doon mo ilalagay ang sagot. So, since ang ating numerator ang mas malaki ang exponent, ilagay mo ang sagot sa numerator. Again, paano natin dinibide? Sinubtract ang exponent nila. 2 minus 1, ang sagot ay 1. Kaya, sina lang yung sagot. Ngayon, again, kapag ang ating... Um, 1, may katabing variable, invisible na ang 1 natin. You don't have to write it. Your final answer is AC over 2. Pagandahin natin. So, AC over 2. That is the simplified form. Let us simplify 8A over 4, 8 cubed. Ay, 8 cubed, sorry. Um, simplify ang ating constants or numerical coefficient. Paano ulit tayo magsisimplify? Dahil ang numerator natin ay mas malaki sa denominator, divide mo na lang. 8 divided by 4, 2. Saan ilalagay? Doon sa ating numerator. Next, we can also divide our um, same variables. Paano ulit mag-divide? Subtract natin ang kanilang exponent. Iyon ang ating rule. So, 3 minus 1, ang sagot ay 2. A squared ang ating sagot. Saan ilalagay? Ang ating exponent na mas malaki ay nasa denominator. Doon mo rin ilagay ang iyong sagot. A squared. 
Again, 3 minus 1 ay 2, kaya 2 ang exponent a to the second power. And this is our final answer. Simplify 4x squared plus 6x all over 6x squared plus 9x. Now, as you can see on our numerator, siya ay hindi na monomial, binomial to. And also, our denominator. Ibig sabihin silang dalawa ay factorable either common monomial factor, difference of 2 squares or sum, and difference of 2 cubes. So, malalaman natin. Let us try muna ang ating CMF. Paano kunin ang uh, paano mag-factor using CMF? Get the GCF of the terms. Ano ang GCF ng 4x squared at 6x? Kapag more than 1 ang GCF, we can factor it using CMF. So try natin. Kuha muna tayo ng GCF sa constants or numerical coefficient. Ang ang GCF ng 4 and 6 ay 2. Ang GCF ng x squared at x ay x. Dahil kukunin mo ang lowest exponent ng variable, yun ang magiging GCF. After getting the GCF, we can now divide the terms by the GCF. So, 4 divided by 2, 2. x squared divided by x, paano ulit mag-divide? Subtract ang exponent. 2 minus 1, ang sagot na lang ay 1. x. Next, second term, divide again by the GCF, positive 6 divided by 2, the answer is positive 3. X divided by X, pag sinubtract, uh, 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, cancel na yung X natin, this will be our factor. O, next, factor naman natin ang denominator, again, either CMF, DTS, or SDTC, start ulit tayo sa CMF. So, meron bang GCF si 6x squared plus 9x? Yes, meron at more than 1 siya. Ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin nyo nga ay CMF. Okay? Factor muna natin ang ating numerical coefficient 6 and 9. So, ang GCF ng 6 at 9 ay 3. Ang GCF ng x squared at x ay x. After getting the GCF, we can now divide. Divide the terms by the GCF. Start tayo sa unang term. 6 divided by 3, 2. X squared divided by X, X. Second term, positive 9 divided by 3, positive 3. X divided by X, cancel na. So, these are the factors. Now, what did you notice? If you can see, meron tayo ditong same factors sa numerator and denominator. ba kapag same, halimbawa, 10 divided by 10 equals 1. 1,000 divided by 1,000. Ang sagot din ay 1. So, any um, light um, dividend at divisor, it will lead to a quotient of 1. So, kapag dinivide natin, Ang ating 2x plus 3 sa numerator and denominator, pag dinivide natin yan, equal nyan ay 1. Next. By the way, ang tip dyan, ang pwede mo lang ipag-divide ay binomial sa binomial, monomial sa monomial, tsaka trinomial sa trinomial. Ngayon, i-divide din natin ang ating monomial. Kung natatandaan nyo sa first two examples natin, pag dinivide natin itong variable, paano ulit mag-divide ng variable? I-subtract ang ating exponent. So, pag sinubtract natin itong exponent, 1 minus 1, cancel na yan. 0 na yan. So, cancel. Ano ang natira? Yung 2 at yung 3. So, kahit nga multiply mo sa ating sagot, 2 times 1, 2 pa rin. 3 times 1, 3 pa rin. Your final answer will be 2 thirds. Ang 2 thirds ay hindi mo na kayang i-lowest term. This is the lowest term. Let us now simplify our next given. So, numerator muna tayo. Anong numerator natin? Binomial siya. Ibig sabihin, ang ating pwedeng ipang-factor ay CMF, DTS, or SDTC. Start tayo kay CMF. CMF, paano? Um, check if there's GCF is greater than 1. So, dito, ano ba ang GCF ni 1 at ni 9? Ang sagot ay 1. Then, wala naman silang common variable. So, ang GCF lang talaga ay 1. Again, kapag ang GCF ay 1, it is prime. It is not factorable using CMF. Punta ka kay difference of 2 squares. Paano malalaman? Difference. Dapat, subtraction. 
to squares. Dapat perfect square ang first at second term. May square root z squared? Meron. May square root z 9? Meron. It means it is factorable using DTS. Now, how to get the factor of DTS? We have two sets of binomial. One is positive, the other one is negative. Get the square root of the first term. Ang square root ng z squared ay z. So, write it on the first term of our binomials. Next, get the square root of our second term. Ang square root ng 9 ay 3. And write it on the second term of our binomial factors. Next, if you will just notice here, naka-open and close parenthesis na ito, ibig sabihin sila ay factored na. At kahit itry mo ang mga factoring um, tools natin dito, hindi na siya kayang i-factor. Just copy those factor on our denominator. You will notice, uh, meron na naman tayo ditong like factors. We can divide them. The answer is 1. Divide them. The answer is 1. So, multiplying them 1 times 1, the answer is 1. Also, on the denominator, 1 times 1 is 1. Now, again, 1 divided by 1, it is a whole number 1. This is the final answer. Simplify our next example. So, our numerator is a binomial. It is factorable using CMF, DTS, or SDTC. Now, let us try CMF. What is the GCF of our first term and second term? So, the GCF of m to the 6th power and 1 is only 1. It means if the GCF is only 1, it is prime, it is not factorable using CMF. How about DTS? Difference means subtraction, but on our example, it is addition. It means this is also not factorable using DTS. Let us now proceed with SDTC. So, sum and difference, pwede addition or subtraction, and they should be perfect cube. Is there a cube root of m to the 6th power? Yes, meron. At meron din cube root ang ating um, second term. How to factor SDTC? One is binomial, the other one is trinomial. Kapag addition ang gi given natin, ang ating pattern ay positive, negative, positive. Get the cube root of the first term. Ang cube root ng f to the 6th power, i-divide mo lang ang exponent by 3. So, 6 divided by 3 ay 2. So, m squared ang ating cube root. Ano ang cube root ng 1? 1. 1 times 1 times 1 kasi ay 1 din. Next, dito na lang tayo titingin sa ating binomial factors. Square the first term. Ang square ng m squared, paano ulit mag-square? Multiply mo yung exponent. So, m squared, 2 times 2, ang sagot ay 4. And then, anong square ni 1? 1 times 1, 1. How about the middle term? All you have to do is to multiply the two terms. m squared times 1 ay 1m squared or m squared. Invisible, 1. Next, let us factor our second term. Again, this is a binomial, a second term. The denominator pala. It is factorable using CMF, DTS, or SDTC. Try natin ang CMF. Ano ang GCF ni m squared at ni 1? Ang sagot lang ay 1. Ibig sabihin, prime yan, it is not factorable using CMF. DTS, hindi rin kasi hindi naman siya subtraction. SDTC, hindi perfect cube ang m squared. Hindi madidivide ang exponent na 2 by 3. So, ibig sabihin, it is not factorable with any of these 3. Just copy our denominator. Now, what did you notice? We have again, um, same factors. You can divide them. The answer is 1. So, 1 times this factor. Kopyahin mo na lang yan. So, we have m to the 4th power minus m squared plus 1. Then, since ang ating denominator ay 1, you don't have to um, copy the denominator 1. So, whole expression na tayo. This will be your final answer. Bye. <laughs>